Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about tonight is the digital loggers. Uh, this is the Web Power Switch Pro. I did buy this myself, and what you get with this is you get uh, 10 uh, plugs, and you get eight of them that are uh, remotely switched, and then you get two that are unswitched. So you get these eight fully under your control, and then two that are um, two that are not. And what you can do is you can hook this in with either uh, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. See if you can get a shot of that there. Yeah, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. There's the power plug right there. That's where it plugs in. You can see you can mount this on a wall. And um, I've wanted one of these for a while so that I could remotely reboot things, power things off, all that good stuff. So when you buy this, you get the unit itself. You get a user's guide. And you get this heavy-duty cable to connect it to the power. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to throw the antenna on it. I'm probably not going to use it for Wi-Fi, but uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, plug it in. And uh, in the in the back room, I've got some NASs we're going to plug into it, and then uh, we'll get over to the web interface. All right, so the lighting in here is not... It's not great. Uh, this is the back room, you know, where I had it lit. And what I'm going to use this little counter for is I'm going to use this uh, for a place for all the NASs. All the NASs are going to sit here for now until I get the new rack built. So here we've got the Synology DS1621XS Plus with all Synology drives. We've got the QNAP 2.5 gig. And then we've got this beast of a QNAP. This is the, the cuts. Uh, this is the a ZFS base with an Intel uh, Xeon. But back here, we have the Web Power Switch Pro. You can see I've got the antenna on. I've got this plugged in. And I thought I was going to be a smart guy and get enough to get us to the outlet right there. And it's not. So we'll, hold on. And actually, before I plug this in, um, I'm actually going to put the switch back here, get the switch wired in over to the switch stack real quick, get all this plugged in, then we'll we'll turn this on. All right, so I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit more before I get everything else hooked up, but I've got uh, the switch plugged in, I've got the Synology plugged in, and now we're gonna plug this into the wall. And uh, good thing that was an empty case. Okay, got it plugged into the wall, and now I'm going to uh, turn it on. And let's see what happens. Okay, it tells us that our LAN is 192.168.0.100. So uh, we will have to... Um, get that taken care of. So let's go over to the computer and take a look. All right, so real quick, what I did was instead of messing with my network and uh, setting up the 192.168.0 network and going through all that, was I actually used the uh, interface on the device and made the device DHCP. And so there is, um, there's a, a URL that you can go through that will walk you through that. And so I will leave a link to that down in the description. So here is the default login and it's admin and 1234. Now, they recommend that we change the password, obviously, right? So um, it's a very nice basic interface. We don't need anything fancy with this, right? I'm going to turn all outlets on because you can see they were off. And so you're going to see them coming on one at a time there. Then I can switch it off or I can cycle it. You will notice oop, by default that this is HTTPS. This also has SSH uh, built into it, but it is disabled by default. So um, you can see over here it does support scripting. So this was our outlet control. Here's our setup. 
So we can come in here and we can change the name of the controller. We can change the different outlet names so we know what's plugged into each of those outlets. Uh, we can, it's got some password, like if you get your password wrong so many times it can lock out the account, which is good. Power loss recovery mode, turn all, all pow, power let, turn all outlets off, turn all outlets on, or return to pre-loss power state. And then here there is some user-defined URLs that you can put in here. And we've got more information down here. And you can see by default, like I said, that SSH is disabled. HTTPS is enabled. It's got a, you can uh, output to a syslog server. You can come in here and set up your Wi-Fi. Um, so it is admin. One, three, four. So we're going to change this to the, what are the rest of our uh, lab, um, what the rest of our lab passwords are. Now you can also lock the interface of the device. So the, that LED screen, LCD screen that you saw, we can lock that. And you can set up different users and they have different access to different ports to the different plugins. So that's really nice. And let's see. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Display LCD text in all caps. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then it has meter and plotting. Let's go over and take a look at the rest of the uh, menu options here. So here is the scripting. If you're into that, you can um, really do a lot of stuff. They've got some snippets down here. Uh, there's a demo, working day, handling, math, all kinds of stuff. If you get one of these, you can just go in here and play around. I haven't gotten into any of the scripting with it yet, but it's my understanding that you can get like super intricate with this. got event notification. Oh, and also if we uh, register, uh, we get free technical support, priority update notices, and special software uh, offers. I'm gonna say ask me later to that. Oh, and when you do that, it dumps you right back at the main. You can see I've got all the outlets on there. Here's an event notification. And so you can see you can get super intricate with this as well. Customization, so you can change the company name, the, the uh, product name, URL, and all that that's on the, the page. You can put a different logo in, all that good stuff. So um, we can change our preferred measurement units here. And we're gonna leave it in uh, Fahrenheit for now, percentage, and kilowatt hours, that's fine. External APIs. This thing, if you're looking for a device that has the ultimate flexibility, this is definitely it. We've got a backup and restore. So we can download all these different backup areas. We've got a firmware upload. So we, the current firmware is 1.8.13.0. And I have not downloaded the, if there's a newer version, I haven't downloaded it yet. We can set our date time. You can do an auto ping. And uh, if, uh, you know, pings uh, fail, then we can, you know, power cycle a, uh, an outlet based on that. Here's the en energy monitor. And uh, right now we don't know the uh, temperature or the relative humidity. We can add a meter here. And let's go back to the system log. So you can see all of the things that are happening here. I mean, it's, it's really just a great little device. This was rec recommended to me uh, by a customer and a friend named Michael, if he's watching this. Um, and so we've, we've been messing around with them a little bit. But I think, um, especially in its its price range, $169, bucks, uh, I don't know that it gets any better with the flexibility. Now, some people are saying, oh, the UI is plain and the UI is whatever. This thing does what it's supposed to do and it does it really, really, really well. So 
if you're interested in something like this, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link down below. I really think that this is going to change the way that we monitor some remote things and we can, you know, log in, turn things off, turn it back on. I mean, if you're looking to uh, turn a device off remotely at a, you know, specified time, this is going to do it. It's not locking you into any kind of proprietary anything because of how open this device is. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, and share. Follow us on all the social below, Amazon affiliate links below. If you need IT consulting, you can reach out at willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form and someone will contact you as soon as possible. I'm Willie. Once again, I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.